Well, isn't this the pinnacle? It does not get any better than this. Two arch rivals, the final day of the season. The Telstra Premiership Grand Final. It's exclusive, it's live and it's free on your home of Rugby League Nine's wide world of sports. We're ready to go at a core stadium. The Panthers and the Eels. Let's head to the commentary box now where we find Andrew Johns, Cameron Smith, and it's a very good evening, Matthew Thompson. Good evening. It is the grand final, the script writers and sporting romantics long for. Parramatta playing their 11th grand final. The Panthers hoping to join Parramatta on four grand final wins tonight in their sixth visit to a season decider. An atmosphere like we have rarely ever seen. A core stadium is chocked to the brim. And a nation waits on in anticipation. Clint Gutherson kicks off the grand final of 2022 and James Fisher-Harris triggers the first collision. <laughs> Tackle just outside his 10, Mitch Kenny into the starting team again with Coruscant from the bench for the Panthers tonight. And now Moses Leona tackled low by Marty and up the top near Corey. And here's Isaiah Yo, the Dally M captain of the year. Tackled 14 out from the halfway line. And now Dylan Edwards. Many people's tip to win a Clive Churchill medal tonight. His form has been exceptional. Now Cleary with a high long kick. He was under pressure from Marty. And he's remonstrating with him after the kick, which is taken by Clint Gutherson. Can he and Junior Polar emulate what Ray Price did back in 1986 and lift a Premiership trophy in a Parramatta jumper? This is Bailey Simonson, who appeared here in a grand final in 2019 for Canberra, and now Polar with a, a damaging run, which ends just short of the halfway in Yo's tackle. Nia Kore up to start in the lock forward roll for the seventh week in succession now. Madison off the bench again this evening and Moses' first kick of the night. It's his favourite high and long kick which gives the chasing team time to make its way down the ground. And Dylan Edwards is put to ground, centre of the 20. Here's Charlie Staines, he gets rattled up. One of the four Panther players to appear in their first grand final tonight and Brighton this time. Well, he scored the pivotal try in last year's decider. The intercept, which turned the match in Penrith's favour. Martin hit hard here by the former Panther, Campbell Gillard. This is a strong defensive set by Parramatta. And Fisher Harris has really crunched that time. He played it quickly, and they go to Luai for a kick this time. Gutherson under pressure from a charging tunnel, but he took it well, and he evaded the chase. And he gave it away to Dylan Brown. That needed a calm head by the Parramatta skipper, and that's precisely what he provided. And now some bullocking work by Sebo. He turns 29 tomorrow, Micah. If he wins the grand final, there'll be one heck of a party at Parramatta Lee's Club. Here's Campbell Gillard. Driven back by his former flatmate, Isaiah Yo. There's the parachant. You can hear it roaring. It's a high quality and fast start to the grand final of 2022. Moses. Bombing towards Brian Topper, who scored two tries for the Panthers in a powerhouse effort in the first week of the finals. And now Tungor admitted to being somewhat hesitant when he was given Matt Burton's left centre spot at the age of 20, but he's had a season. He scored 13 tries. It's his 26th game of the year for Isaac Tung, or the 20-year-old from St Mary's. Staines working it up to the halfway. It's been a perfect start. Neither team has blinked. There's been no errors. Now Cleary, here's his first skyscraper of the night. And it's targeted at Gutherson. He didn't quite catch all of that one, Nathan. But the kick chase is right down there, and Sebo gets crunched. Great start, Tomo, to this game. 
both teams just working their way into the match. It's been frenetic pace, hard hitting in defence. Your favourite, any one team in this first four minutes, would probably favour Penrith. They've been playing the ball slightly fast in the Parramatta, but we're looking at some opportunities here. Oh, he gets rattled up by Leota there, Dylan Brown, but he slipped the pass away. There is. A lot of sting in this defence, and what would one expect as Marty races away from dummy half. He scored four tries in his last six games against the Panthers, Reed Marty, so he's a, a try sneak. That was nearly a kick-out charge down. Just watching Parramatta. All their kicks have gone to Brian Toto. It takes him out of that second play where he gets forward and plays the ball quick. Andrew, Peter Sterling said he has rarely seen an atmosphere to rival this. Do you concur? Oh, it's loud up here. Probably best going to Brad, Brad Fittler on the sideline. But from up here, it's, it's as loud as I've heard in a long, long time. It's absolutely incredible. It is surreal. The atmosphere and the energy in the stadium tonight. The conditions are absolutely perfect. The footy field at the moment, there's no real dew on the grass. So the boys are real confident in what they're doing. We've seen Moses Leota put on a few shots early. It is Martin. awesome. Martin trying to gallop into a hole there. He was dragged down by a desperate tackle from Campbell Gillard. But there's the first bit of flamboyance from the Panthers with the ball. And Cleary is going to go through the hands to Lua, who thought about a kick. He dumps it to kick out. Kick out away for Tungor. He'll roll it along the ground. And he might have got a shot there and bumped out of the way. The referee says, no, it's all clear. And Gutherson gets it back. Now, Wonder Blake passes for Moses. And away to Will Penasini, he's the future of this club. Brad Arthur has said that they're going to build a team around him. He's scored six tries in his last eight games. One of the local juniors out there for the Parramatta club tonight. It's been a torturous 36 years and that is a big shot. Moses Leota is on a search and destroy mission. At the moment, he's not searching. He's doing a lot of destroying. Moses is going to attack a short side, and he's got uh, a situation here where there's an overlap, and Gutherson, they covered well from the inside there, and it's a knock-on against Clint Gutherson. Yeah, nice option, Mitchell Moses. Yeah, where you are. He's six and a half minutes into the game, but he saw an opportunity and backed himself. Wait, wait, over there, Rick. Good attack, a great cover by Penrith. Brad Fittler spoke about the conditions. First five minutes, it was a bash-up. The last couple of sets, a bit of ball movement. Oh. Get the feeling this is going to be really entertaining. A lot of ball movement. So Edwards ran for 287 metres and had 14 tackle breaks in the prelim against South last week. It was a performance of sheer brilliance. Maybe his best of the year for Edwards. Yoda Leona. Oh, look at that. He charged straight at Marnie. The polo help their Corey with the tackle and they head out to kick out now and it goes to Luai who steps back in off the left. 14 out from the line here. Kenny away to Nathan Cleary. He's got plenty of time. He slips a pass away and then Leota and then Edwards and then Martin. Oh, he threw it straight to Mike Acebo. Yeah, they did really well there, Parramatta. That ball got to the outside of Acebo. They were in a little bit of strife. They had a couple of men and overlapped did Penrith. Well, here's the first the penalty of the match. The ball, the ball came the loose. for Parramatta. I well, get into Brad Fittler. What sort of ratio of fans? Oh, Parramatta's in favour for sure. The reception for when Penrith came out, there was less of a cheer than a boo. They were into it, the fans. Just watching the Parramatta fans come in during the day. You can tell the expectation on the club at the moment. These players, I'm sure they're glad. They're nine minutes into the game. They've got that shackle off their back, and now it's a game of footy. Geez, I'd love to score first, Parramatta. That'll bring the crowd right into play. Well, they love to start fast. Oh, and wow. here's a kick by Brown, and there's a chase by Moses, and Toto got back there. Well, that's a planned move. No one saw that coming. 5-8 kicking for halfback, 50 metres out. So much for a grand final. Don't worry about the nerves. 
What'd you make of that, Cameron? Wow, that was out of the box stuff, that. And, and that's been the talk in the lead up to this match about Parramatta trying to be a little bit left of centre with their play, trying to upset the system of Penrith's defence. Cleary with a, a low kick that dribbles along the turf and Gutherson picks it up just in from the sideline. He's got nowhere to go. Crichton with a strong tackle and Martin there as well. The Panthers have won five of their last seven against Parramatta. The Eels, oh, another big oh. shot. Sebo's rattled. The Eels won the two regular season games, but when we got to the finals, it was Penrith in week one. It's, it's been well documented. A big victory, 27 points to eight. Really tackled strongly by Kickout. He he has been so physical throughout this final series, in particular in his defence. Kicking very deep here by Moses, and it's taken by the running man Edwards. He sends a pass for Charlie Staines. Tackle there by Lane. And here's Crichton. Stephen Crichton, he missed out by 10 days on joining a very select group of players to feature in three grand finals before their 22nd birthday. He turned 22 on September 22. But uh, among that group of immortals, Fulton and Meninga. So even though he missed out, he's, he's done pretty well for a uh, a just 22-year-old in his third straight grand final here. Cleary digs into the line. Edwards joins in. Turns it for Crichton, who sprints back on the inside. And Crichton has scored the first try of the grand final. He scored the intercept to turn the game last year, and he's got the first one tonight. Well, great play by the Penrith Panthers. They work the ball to the middle, and then it's just a short shift to their right-hand side. Had all the Parramatta defenders heading out towards the sideline. And they turn one underneath. Harvey Norman replay. Isaiah Yoda Cleary, a great combination. And look at this Dylan Edwards, just a drop off. He's able to beat two men on his way to the try line. A gallant effort by Reed Marnie and Regan Campbell Gillard. But it was just that sliding defense of Parramatta. Just watch Dylan Brown, he's on the out. Lovely time drop off play by Crichton. And the Penrith Panthers, they open proceedings. Well, Sean Lane, he went at Nathan Cleary to try to put pressure on the halfback. That's the Telstra fan camp. <laughs> Going bananas out the rift. There's Sean Lane. He goes at Nathan Cleary. And because he goes at him and makes the tackle, he doesn't tie on the inside and close the gate on the inside. And the change of angles made Stephen Crichton go through. Here it is here. Watch Sean Lane, jersey 11. He'll get in contact here with Nathan Cleary. He makes the tackle, and his job is to come back on the inside there. Because he's made the tackle, he couldn't tie in. And the Panthers, they strike first. The try is confirmed. Uh, having a look at where the ball was caught in relation to the decoy runner, but doesn't he like the big game occasion, Stephen Crichton? He's been an Origin representative now. And he scored another grand final try. The Premiers have leapt to the front. start to the grand final Better, Lemus, you wait. and Penrith sees on their first chance here comes Moses he's not going to leave a single shred of energy tonight he's giving everything Moses 
Leota. That's a Tilson tracker. Intensity, metres per minute. Heels, 116.8. Panthers, 112.8. The NRL average, look at that 86. You can see how much it goes up a gear in these big games. Short side play now, and Martin, oh, he nearly got through. Important tackle there by Simonson. Here's Cleary. Here's a cliffhanger. Where's Wonga? Oh, Murray's just took it. That was a great take by the halfback. You can see they've done a fair bit of homework on that kick. There's a lot of Parramatta jerseys around that ball when it reached the ground. They've just got to stay in this match here, Parramatta. He's slowly starting to take a stranglehold on this match. The Panthers. Oh! Oh, Lord, with a... A floating pass out wide. Stand down! That's the more conventional approach in the big front rower, so... Don't mind. The execution wasn't great. Looks like he's throwing watermelons. Gutherson fires it away to Sebo, right against the sideline. But he saw space out there. It's the name of the game. Get the ball into space. Oh, Gutherson. I just realised late it was the last tackle. A kick for Edwards. He sprints back. Three, good metres on the return. 13 out from the halfway. This Panthers outfit, should they win tonight, is kick our rampages upfield. And offloads to Luai. They're starting to like their chances here, the Panthers. It's been a fast opening as those statistics from Telstra pointed out early and perhaps Parramatta might just be starting to feel the pinch a little. It's been non-stop football. Yo, Nathan Cleary and Martin, he charges straight at Brown. Lee Martin nearly gets to the line. Yellow jumpers come racing after him and they stop him by a metre. Cleary and Yo at the back and Lou he drew Moses out of the line. He's got Leota standing in front of him. Then he passes away to Miami Kikau. Kikau against Mitchell Moses. He flings him to ground. Nine metres short. Cleary. The pass went behind Leota and Lane tried to race away with the ball. A yeah, brave effort again by the Parramatta Eels to defend their try line. That's, oh, what a shot there. Kenny. A Wunga Blake. But it's the play of the ball speed of the Panthers that's killing Parramatta right now. They're barely getting back with the referee. They don't have time to move off the line when the next Penrith run is coming. And the key players like Lou White and Cleary have too much time with the football. Great tackle there, Cleary, in combination with Crichton. Again, down left hand short side, Brown now. He's, he's the match winning X Factor for Parramatta, Dylan Brown. Campbell Gillard. The Parra fans wanted a high tackle penalty. They didn't get one. Moses with his own version. A floating kick of swords, but it dipped. And it was taken comfortably by Edwards. And he's going to find some room here. And he offloads. Top off. He's going to get the kick chase in order, Parramatta. That was terrible kick chase. 16 minutes into the grand final. That's your bread and butter. This is relentless by the Panthers. Tungor nearly pulled through the line on that occasion. Staines this time. And they're on the Eels 30 metre line. Coruscant is on the ground now. And Kenny moves into a, a running forward role. He came on against South Sydney up in Coruscant. It was 12 mil in favour of the Rabbitohs. It's 6 mil in favour of his team now. Quick hands on. Totler takes it. Totler scores. Another try for the Panthers. It's Totler in the left corner. He's got six tries in his last five games now, and it's 10 0 to Penrith. And it's the presence of Billy Army kick out. Keep your eyes on the big Fujian with the blonde mop. Watch him run the decoy, and it just sucks in Mitchell Moses. Harvey Norman replay, Coruscant gets out. Watch Mitchell Moses in seven. He has to go in. Will Tennessini's going out. You've got to work together on the edge. Moses went in, Tennessini went out. And Tyo, what a start by Tenrith. And just the play of the ball speed once again. It allowed Abby Coruscant to get out. Clint Gutherson, he was defending at 
a defender. And when Coruscant was able to get out and take a few yards into the defensive line, it just held him up. Just that slight moment. Greatest space on the outside of Brian Tottle. Telstra fan cam. They're up again, the Penrith fans. But you can trace it back. The, the kick chase, it's terrible. Yeah. The first play. Yeah. Brett Fittler. Well, it's hard to hear through all of that, but Brian Toto, he's played right wing all year. Smart decision by the coach to split the experience. Brian Toto with young Tungall and Charlie Staines with Stephen Crichton. They've had a bit of luck both sides, both with the experienced players. I'm with you, Joey. I, I think the, the way that Parramatta wrestle their way back into this game is through their defence. They don't need to worry about scoring points. They don't need to worry about making line breaks. It's, it's all defence here. Minimise the yards that Penrith make in this set. Strong running. Get their kick chase in order. It's not turning around for Nathan. and a half minutes of new perfection. Here's Fisher Harris. Gee, the two big men, but huge. Leota and Fisher Harris, they are trying to damage Parramatta with and without the ball. Kenny this time. Well, their big men, Parramatta, done a lot of work defensively. When they get the ball, they need their outside backs to do some work. Had a dummy half and get forward. And a bit of a breather, the big man. Over the army, kick out has trampled Mitchell Moses. And Edwards with a pass for Cleary, who punches through the middle, and he's back to a desperate tackle by Gutherson. Coruscant racing from acting half, kicks to the end goal. Sebo is trapped. This is relentless. Relentless. It's it's football at its best, Tomo. We do see there a strong run from Billy Army kick out. Just watch him here. Bang, straight into Moses' chest. Get out of my way. Plays the ball quickly. Next play. Watch that time, Dylan Clint. Edwards combining with Nathan Cleary and an happy Coruscant shows his class there. Just gets a repeat set. We've I think we're looking behind. short here. Yeah, we've been seeing short dropouts all finals. Gutherson has kicked it out on the full. What you do here? Did you go two? Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be tempted to keep the pressure on. Oh, I, I think they'll opt to just keep, keep applying school ball pressure. There's the signal. Nathan! Then you can take a couple of Nathan. real deep breaths here, Parramatta. Nathan Cleary is going to take the penalty goal at 10 0. Two converted tries. They get a breather here, Parramatta. And look, the possession rate is 60 40. Now, we see in most games that that possession invariably turns around, Andrew. It'll it's a question, turn. they've got to keep themselves in the game. Well, it'll, it'll turn, but they need to hang in until it turns. And that's the difference between the real top line team and the top line players. Just got to hang in. They'll hang in, Parramatta, and it'll turn. But it turns from hard work. They get their defensive line, the win guys. it back with their defence. Not early. Brad Arthur looks pretty cool. Ready, the game's only 20 minutes in. Stay behind. 
have just got to build back into the game. And they're a team that when they score, power, they can score quickly. Here goes Mitch Kenny. That match uh, out in Penrith uh, earlier in the year, round nine, it was 22 20 to Parramatta, but if I remember correctly, that Parramatta were down by a couple of tries in that, so they fought back to win then, which demonstrates they're capable of doing that once more. It's an aggressive blind speed. That second play played the ball way too quick. If you lose the tackle early in the tackle count, it's hard to wrestle that momentum back. They've got to win those first couple of tackles. Sends a hanger up in the air, Gutherson! Oh, it. Well done, Gutho. Luai went off early. And would have spooked him. Kept his eye on the ball, that was... Oh! Wow, Wonga Blake's been belted a few times already in this. Straight out to Lay now. He runs towards Nathan Cleary, then Crichton comes in. Yes, Brad, down to you. Well, last week against the Cowboys, it wasn't too dissimilar. The Parramatta were way off the speed of the game. It was actually Ryan Madison who changed the tempo and turned in the favour of the Eels. Here he is now, Brad. He won a grand final for the Roosters in 2018. Ryan Madison. And he had a final series. And you just look at where now Penrith is starting their sets. Ryan Tott will just return that ball beyond his 40 metre line. Play two, they're already on halfway, so they'll be looking to attack straight away here, Penrith. Here's the super sub, Sorensen. Once again, Toto went for played it quick. Tungo played the ball quickly. And win those first couple of times, Parramatta. to Sorensen, who has another crack. And he's put down here on the 20 metre line, it'll go to clearing. And he kicks it into the defence, and six more tackles, and Luai up against the big fellas, tries his footwork, there's an overlap out right, if he fires it there, Staines cuts back in, dives, doesn't get there. Glad he got ducked, like a sleeper. <laughs> Holy smokes. Clearing! on 49 career tries. He's got another tackle count restart. This is a incredible pressure on Parramatta's goal line defence now. Back to Cleary. He dummies and he ducks and he's tackled by Papali'i. Gutherson up there too. It goes to Luai. Luai not quite through. Good tackle. Sorensen back to where the play the ball was. Doesn't get there. Power brave here, and they need to be. It goes to Cleary. And Edwards and Martin with a fend on Brown. He's got the ball in one hand. There was no one to pass to. That's four tackles. They're trying to bash their way there. Power have been good defensively here. They've got one more tackle to absorb. Floats a pass for Luai, it goes behind Tangor. It's picked up by Toto. Toto steps back in. Toto kicks to the end goal. It's a lovely kick by Toto. It's played over the back by Marnie, and there'll be more ball coming for Penrith. Well, another brave effort on their try line, but how long can they hold this up? Use the word relentless a few times tonight already. And the Penrith Panthers attack, they're just... They will not give Parramatta any sort of break here tonight. A nice finish again by Brian Tolo, right foot. Little stab into the end goal. And Gutho will try and land this one infield. Oh! Stand down! The only risk there was that Coruscant was going to knock it on as he went to try to retrieve it. This is merciless stuff by the Panthers. Yo! Shoved back by Campbell Gillard, 
and Gutherson at the bottom of it. Coruscant plays tricks with him, and it's kick out around the back. What a tackle, Moses! Moses made the first tackle, and there was another try saving effort in there from Penasini. The ball gets out to Cleary. He shows it inside to Edwards. He goes away to Martin. Can't break through again. They are hanging tough here, Brad Arthur's men. Cleary kicks for Sorensen. There's no one there. It's another try. That's a third try for Penrith. Too smart. Nathan Cleary. He's seen Clint Gutherson. He joined the line on the short side, so there was no one at home in the end goal. And he had Sorensen pushing up on the outside. We've seen a couple of tries like this for the Penrith Panthers last week in the prelim final. Harvey Norman replay. Clint Gutherson, you see there, left of screen. And it's just a left-footed little dink at the post. No one at home. And Sorensen says, thank you very much. I'll take a grand final try. I had breakfast yesterday with the great Warren Ryan, one of the greatest coaches. And he said there's no way to defend a grubber kick when the fullback is in the defensive line. I know it's a trend which is happening in the modern game in the last couple of years, but last play, I don't know why you put your fullback in, in the defensive line, especially on the far side, when Nathan Cleary, the best kicker in the competition, is on the long side. And Nathan just goes to the line, brings the defence up. It's impossible to defend. Gutherson's on the short side. All Nathan has to do is go to the line, bring the defence up and find space. And it's a try. For me, you've got to scratch your head there. The only thing, the only thing Cleary had to do was execute it, and that's what he's so good at. He was executing those plays. And that's why he's the best kicker. Practice, practice, practice. Backs himself to get in the goal. He'll never kick him dead. This feels a bit like the 2020 grand final, Cam. It was all one way track in the first half. Yeah. It was, and then the opposition come home with a wet sail. of a champion team. The grand final sits at 18 nil. I don't know why they're kicking down the middle of the field. They send one in. And then they've got to defend two sides of, of the ruck. Put it in the corner. You can compress your defensive line right up. Here's the Telstra tracker. The top five intensity. Meters per minute. Look at that. Nathan Cleary. You can see he's everywhere. Oh! A jolting effort. By Regan Campbell Gillard. This Penrith outfit in the last three seasons has won 66 games. The most that any team has won in a three year window, and on the flip side, they've lost 11. 11 games in three seasons. A win tonight would surely cement their place among the greatest modern day teams. Clearing out. We're 30 minutes in. And Penrith have had 65% of possession. So if you look at those stats, they're probably lucky to be down by 18. If Parramatta can jag one, yeah. jag one at half time. Just everything has gone Penrith's way. All the possession, they've completed 15 from 7. All the field possession. Oh, and the defence has been brutal. Well, the petrol tanks are full. What a tackle by Martin. He's a great defender. Game. Madison now. He can't go anywhere. The try scorer Sorensen wraps him up. The Moses under pressure. Kick out. He's always looming there in the face of the, the general kickers. And Edwards now full of bangs at him. Well, this is better field position though from Parramatta. I don't think they've had Penrith this far down the ground in a good chunk of time.
Charles Danes to Cleary, an early shift, Crichton. Wrapped up by Simonson. Ten short of the halfway, Staines. Dropped back down the pecking order a little bit in terms of outside backs, but his first suspension and then injury to Taylor May means he gets an opportunity to play in the grand final. Very end over end. Gutherson wedged in the corner. Oh, he's been taken out there tunnel, but it was okay. Nothing illegal, according to our record. Ashley Klein. Here goes Wonga Blake. Played 88 games with the Panthers. Before he moved down the M4 motorway. And now Sebo. 13 tries in 15 games since he came back from that knee reconstruction with the top grade, Mike Acevo. He played lower grades at the Panthers. He won the New South Wales Cup in the state championship in a penalty jumper in 2017. Strong defence again. That's Penasini. And a bit of extra attention there as well. Oh, the ball. That's a penalty. That's what they need. It was a nice play on the outside. It's a really good tackle from Brian Tottenham. Will Penasini beat his man Tungo off. You get a set start here. This is where they'll go through all their set plays and their formations. The most important thing, they don't score. They need, need a result in the last play. Brown now plays behind Lane and Gutherson went away to Simonson. He keeps the ball alive here. It's a penalty. Oh, it's a penalty to Penrith. Can we see that again in spider cam? Oh, you the captain. Okay, so the penalty is for uh, obstruction on Nathan. Obstruction on Nathan Cleary. On Nathan. Challenge is over. Unless Ran straight into Nathan. Unless there's been a try score, you see, usually they let, let these go. go. He's got tackled. I would have stopped driving and played on. Yeah, let's go. So it's there with Lane going over the top of Cleary. And as the referee said there, if you stop play, I would have allowed you to maintain possession, but he says they took an advantage from that. Here's Spencer Lenu. This is danger signs again here. A full set at Penrith's disposal. And they're down in the Parramatta half. Sorensen. They bring so much energy and enthusiasm. Sorensen and Lenu off the bench. No Nathan Brown in fact the there is, there he is. There's his first involvement. Oh, he bounced away from him there. Hasn't played NRL since round 17, Nathan Brown. Three months, big ask. Clear to Martin. He's been strong, Roy Martin. Up together. 11 out. The Panthers have run in three. Is there a fourth coming? Cleary with a left foot kick. Oh, Lua had a catch on that. If Luai scoops it's that, he just about Euclid. dives over. That's the ruling. He's retreated. So the ruling is you have knocked the ball on. Oh. The inside shoulder. He's caught on the inside oh. shoulder. Where they're the they're saying that Nathan Cleary, when he catches the ball, runs behind the decoy runner. Here's the grubber through. It's a challenge for the ball. Yeah, Gutherson. That's Gutherson, right. The Gutherson hand. He probably stopped the try there. It looked from our angle that... It was Luai responsible, but the Panthers scrum feed centre of the ground, 10 metres out, five minutes until half time. What's happening here? Uh, no football. Oh, no footy. Okay, just lock in, Just guys. watch Dylan Thank Edwards. He's sitting in behind the scrum right now. He'll be the indicator of where this ball goes. He's sitting almost directly behind where the scrum, the scrum is formed. Madison saved a try with Marnie. We well, saved a try for the moment. Sorensen bashes into the defence. Coruscant skips away the pass. It uh, was too hard and it bounced off the chest of Stephen Crichton. And Parramatta survived that one. It was good line speed by Parramatta there to get up and put pressure on the Penrith attackers. So 
little bit too hard at the line. It's been a long wait for Parramatta to play in a grand final. 13 years they played against Cairns. Melbourne outfit in 2009. They played against Andrews Newcastle team in 2001. I remember that game in 2001, Andrew. Newcastle had a big lead after what Pundit said was just about the perfect 40 minutes of football from your team. Can you see parallels between that and this? Well, I came back Parramatta that night. You just got to keep hanging in. Just keep hanging in, playing tough. Eventually, it'll turn. But they just cannot let the scoreboard keep ticking over. Biggest halftime speech of Brad Arthur's career. He's got to make his team believe. Oh, He's been monstrous. He had a little flat spot post origin. You know, he was struggling for it in that meterage department where he's so dominant normally. I, I think he was inconvenienced by that lingering knee issue, but wow, in the last month in particular, Brian Toho has been punishing and look at Lenyu nearly ripping through them. A dynamic run oh by Lenyu and a kick here by Luai and Kikau in behind him puts a boot on it. Kikau will score! Billy oh. Army Kikau might have scored a miracle grand final try. No, he doesn't like it. No, he's too honest, Billy Army. Oh, he just turns around, shakes his head. No, I think there's going to be a dropout. Oh, one dropout. Just confirm yeah. Parramatta got to handle the ball first. Just a second little kick there by kick out. Oh, oh what a try save by Blake. They really need the ball back here, Parramatta. They've gone aerial with a short drop out. The first one, they've gone along the ground in the second. They need to go in the air here. It goes 10 and they've got a result. Well done. Well done. That's courageous. You're going to go wide here, or at least swing towards Moses. He gets jammed up by Luai and kick out. It's a penalty. Play on. Oh, good play. Here we go. They get their shot. A minute and a half from half time. It's the left side. Dylan Brown. Pedersini. Sean Lane. We're going to head that way, Andrew, although not before a run by Oregon to Fusi, which gets them up to Penrith's 40 metre line. Brown looks in, close to Madison. It's tackled by Yo. It's 28 out. There's a parachan. The fans want one effort before half time here. Gutherson. No opening. Tungor and Luai. And Luai's uh, wrestling Gutherson, trying to stop him playing the ball quickly. The fans didn't like that, as you can tell. Ball swept away now to Brown. He goes to Simonson, he tries it in the way, and Sebo is tackled nicely by Staines. Now, they've scored more tries off kicks than any team in the comp, Parramatta. Can they jag one off the boot of Moses here? He kicks it towards the goal line. They fly. Oh, Luai. Jerome Lua, that's all the basketball they play, that one. And he's hit the ground with an awful thud, but that was a very courageous catch. I think he's all right. It was a great, great take by Luai. Oh. Took it high in the air, he came down heavily, but well, there's only seconds left in this first half. Just winding the clock down. the Panthers in the first half. It's hard to think of a more dominant first half effort from the Panthers all season. And they've saved it till grand final night. 
They're trying to become the third team in 30 years to defend their title. And they have started with military precision. There is hope for Parramatta, though, if they can just hang tough. 18-0, the Panthers lead the Eels in the grand final. Brad Arthur in his first trip to a grand final as Parramatta coach. Let's see whether his team can issue a response after the break. As a sidelight, Ivan Cleary's coaching Penrith for the 200th time tonight. He's already the longest serving coach for the club. He's actually lost three grand finals on this ground. In 2002, as a player, as coach of the Warriors in 2011, and of course in 2020 as coach of Penrith. So, Maybe on good terms with himself here as his team marches out with an 18-0 lead. Just looking at the stats at half-time. Big games, grand finals, origins. Very few errors, so a lot of the footies kick reception footy. So your back three, full-back and two wingers are so important to get the sets rolling. Penrith, Dylan Edwards, Charlie Staines and Toto have ran combined 412 metres compared to the Earls' 168. So that's where Parramatta have got to improve their play. Stop those back three getting forward on those first couple of plays. If they do that, they can control the rest of the set. 177 metres for Brian Toto. Unbelievable first half by the winger. He's had a huge impact on this game so far. Getting the Penrith side into great attacking positions with his play one carries. Is there a twist and turn in... The biggest battle of the West we've seen so far. We're 40 minutes away from crowning the champions of 2022. Isaiah Papali'i, Reid Marnie, a pass here to Madison. Here's Nathan Brown, the contentious call of the week. A brave decision by Brad Arthur to bring him back for the grand final. Madison, the pass for Lane now. Oh, there was a chance. If he could have slipped that away to a charging Simonson. And Moses. With a high end over end kick. It's a better kick chase. They were uniform there across the 20 metre line, and Edwards is brought to ground. Oh, that's a crusher tackle penalty. So they get, they get the kick chase right, but they infringe. Let's go. Madison just trying to take Edwards to the ground there. No intent in that at all. Edwards is up, up to his feet, which is great to see. Parramatta on the back foot once again. What do you do there when the player backs into you like that, Cam? No, it's just hard. You, you need to try and make room for his head to, to find a safe position. But it happens so quickly. So Spencer, when you he missed the Panthers, Grand final here a couple of years back. He was left out of the team. He won one last year. That was up at Suncorp. So if Penrith can go on with this, they're about 30 k's away from Panthers Leagues Club and they'll have a party worthy of two Premiership wins. There's a ways to go yet. Brighton, Coruscant with a long ball. And then back on the inside from Yo, nice hands there to a charging Lenu. Centre of the 10 metre line, Happy Coruscant. Cleary with a kick. He wants kick out of fly. And they get a. Oh, it was a knock back, says our referee. Knock back. They certainly outnumbered the Penrith fans, but they made their thoughts on that call obvious with a chorus of moves. A break for Parramatta, perhaps. Look at this defense. They spread through Brown. Ball played here by Bailey Simonson. Nathan Brown. Again, the Panthers. Relentless line swing. Kick from Moses, his own side of the 30. Here's Brian Toto. You've got to love him when he's got the hair out and it flows behind him as he charges upfield. Here's Isaac Tungor, who scored the first try of the season. 
If he scores the last try in this game, he'll be the only player ever to score the first and last tries of the season. Here's Crichton now. It's a wonderful game. Scored our opening try. Played to Edwards, who rolls out a dummy half. Coruscant came running through as an option, and he played around the ball. Clear around the no pressure there. High in the air. Gutherson with a running catch. Just got kick out. We'll drag him back on the M4 if he kept going. Oh, Blake has made an error. It's a loose carry. Yeah. He's on. had an unhappy night. Wonga Blake, he's been smashed a few times. And that error run. has put them right under pressure again. It's the Telstra tracker. Distance ran. Nathan Cleary up around five kilometres. A short, sharp burst up and back across field. Wonga Blake. That's a, that's a big error. Has to galvanise here. Oregon, don't hold him. Right. Cleary wrapping around the Coruscant and oh. well read by Simo. He's hard to stop. He hits the defence, but then he just keeps ripping through them. Isaiah, Nathan Cleary, kick out was too far back. And Tungor. Let it go, Will! Five short. Power organised on their line so far in this set. Cleary. Yo for Edwards, and now Liam Martin. He's had a strong game on that right edge. Knocked over in the tackle that time by Dylan Brown. Isaiah, oh, he bumped off Marty, and he turned out of another tackle. He can play it very quickly here. Happy Corris out, or way to Cleary, and he goes out to Jerome Luai. That's shift, they're going to be another try. It'll be a try to top I, I, I believe this should grab him. Moses. I can't get there. Oh, no I think Moses was taken out here by Kickow, although Ashley Klein has awarded the try. Mitchell, Mitchell Moses plays the kick out without shadow of a doubt. This will be an interesting one because Sean Lane was penalised in that first half. Kick out, run the ball. Well, it's a penalty. Yeah, that's a penalty. We've Harvey Norman replay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a penalty. And it's for people who, who are new watching, they'll talk inside shoulders, outside shoulders. But where he runs, kick out. He doesn't give Mitchell Moses the opportunity to go on the inside and slide. It's the Telstra fan cam. <laughs> they get too excited. I think this one will be taken off here. Yeah. That one's pretty black and white. That's straightforward. You see Mitch Moses, although he may have played for it slightly, he does look to get to his outside. And he makes contact, well, kick out, makes contact with his outside shoulder. Cameron. This has been ruled against. a long time. This has been ruled against teams again. all year. This, this won't, it can't okay, be Okay, Grant, a decision under review for obstruction. My ruling was it was a defensive decision from Mitchell. So kick out needs to run between. Isaiah Ball is caught on the outside. Viliami kick out is through the gap. Mitchell Moses then elects to grab around his waist, making it a defensive decision. We're playing on to this point. It's going to be a try. Wow. Brian to oh, then grounds the ball. I'll let you talk. We have a decision. This one, <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused now. All year, all year, Joey. Inside, inside yeah. shoulder, outside shoulder. Yeah. Now that showed it perfectly. That 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 clip from behind. He had to run between Mitchell Moses and Isaiah Papali. He doesn't. And Kikiao runs to the outside of Moses. And all year that has been a no try. Yep, the biggest game of the year, we make it up and change. Cameron. Great try, Penrith. <laughs> yeah, there's Brad Arthur, there's his reaction. Everyone at home can, can lip read. 
22 nil. So another one for Toto, who's having a memorable night in the grand final. Nathan Cleary from Touch after after this, you might get in the Brad to, and get his thoughts. But Cleary against the sideline for 24 nil. He hasn't got the sufficient hook on it. Sydney, the weather today has been quite spectacular and the conditions tonight are perfect for football and the scoreboard is perfect reading for Penrith Panthers fans as Lenu comes tearing back from the restart. Brad Fettler, Andrew and Cam made their thoughts clear on that decision. Did you want to chime in? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm with the boys. Uh, the players know they have to go into the inside shoulder. You see Mitchell Moses actually, he was following the ball when he looked up to make the play when the ball was passed. Kickout was in front of him. He might not have got to the ball, but what Kickout, what he did was Kickout got in the road and obstructed his view of what was happening outside. So he obstructed it. First points after half time, critical, and Edwards. Stack of time to bang a high kick in the air. Here's Martin chasing through. Strongly by Sorensen and Lenyard. Playing not big minutes, those two. Two in the change forwards for the Panthers, which means Fisher Harris and Leona will be fully charged when they come back for their second shift. Lane, oh, he took it in one hand, penalty. Right. We're still chewing there. Well, I thought you were. Oh, he's challenging. Straight away. So it was actually right, a strip, yeah, the, the call. Captain's challenge from Penrith. They're disputing um, the decision that, um, two in the tackle, he believed he wasn't playing at the ball. Just looking to determine if there's one or two players in the tackle. Well, even if it's one, is it a knock-on from Nathan Cleary? The ball propels forward out of his hand. Oh, it's clear. It's, it's the ball is taken one-on-one. -on -one. We're just looking to determine now the direction of the ball after it is stripped in a one-on-one -on -one tackle. The first view that we looked at, this view here will show. I think it moves forward out of the hands from Cleary. The ball goes backwards, playing onto this point. There you go, good, Cam. Well done. There is one in person in the tackle, the ball goes backwards. The challenge is successful. We have a Penrith play the ball with Nathan Cleary for tackle one. Don't look at me, I'm not the bunker. I'm sure he's, he's playing, he's playing he's mimes play up here. The direction he stripped that ball was towards <laughs> Parramatta Strong. Oh, okay. You want to play the ball? Alright, oh, this guy's going to be a play the ball. Um, yeah. Nathan, you'll play the ball. That's what Mitch Moses is saying. I'm with you, Mitch. <laughs> okay, back here, guys. Back here. So, Nathan's got his challenge right. Oh. And Sorensen gets... Play back underway where he's tackled in the middle of the ground. Madison, the defender, Coruscant sends it left. And here's Lenu. Wrapped up by Isaiah Papali'i. Yo works to the middle of the ground. Then Cleary with a dummy and run. Big man didn't take it. And Lane is there to help Kafusi with the tackle. Yo back for Soros. A good crunching shot by Kafusi who chased from Marco. They're 18 out. Edwards! Oh. oh, he was a sitting duck. 
there and Simonson half got him, but he bounced away. A tantalising kick by Cleary. Uh, Kickhouse knocked it on, Gutherson's picked it up. And the Eels have survived that minor scare. Well, they're doing well to keep themselves in the match. But just look where Penrith now find their energy in defence. They turn the ball over, metres from the try line. Oh! His head went jolting back there. Oh, Blake. And now kick out with a big shot on Papa Lee. They've, we've used the word relentless repeatedly tonight, but it's with and without the ball. I have not given Parramatta half a chance to get into this game. Moses. Clean bowls Edwards. Oh, look how confident they are. He passes to top off. Tackled strongly. So a, a win for this Penrith Ooh, team tonight. Nose. Oh, he might have copped a high one, and that blood would suggest that. He's bleeding, Joey. A, a win for Penrith here tonight would cap off probably the greatest season ever by a club in the professional era. As we have a look at that replay. I think it's a head clash for the breed Marnie. Yeah. And Isaiah. Doink mm. on his shoulder, and Isaiah Papali'i then has got the blood on his head. Just to finish that point, they won this Penrith oh, Club SG that. Ball and Jersey Fleck and New South Wales Cup. And the New South Wales Cup team today won the state championship. So if they if they win this game, they've won all of those competitions, which has I'm never been achieved in the history of the game. People Wait. have had SG Balls under. 18s, Jersey Flegg's under 20. So this goes to show the development of this club. Players coming through, every year they lose two or three class players. They just keep replacing them. They're educated, they're coached all the same way. Next man up near town. Ripping, tearing. Tackle five. The injury doctors asked the game to be stopped for Isaac to leave the field. Yeah. And so tongue or HIA as a result of that the head clash. And Jamin Salmon will be the man. He's playing his first grand final, one of the four Panthers. Making their grand final debut. He played at Parramatta at the start of his career. it into the air and there's pressure on Sebo who had to get mobile late but he did so and he carries two Panthers defenders for about 20 metres now Gutherson Madison that's good slips one away to Marty nearly threw a hole there he just over the last minute, but it's second place football that makes Parramatta so dangerous. They haven't been able to get any offloads because they haven't had any ascendancy at the ruck, they haven't been able to get forward. And they get a six again here, so let's see whether this little break of fortune can bring some points with it for Parramatta. They're 24 metres out, they go to Brown, who plays to Campbell Gillard, who's been sent back on the ground. Tackled by Martin. Marnie, right to Dylan Brown, who runs into the line. Oh, they've got uh, a drama in back play. We'll brush that for the moment because the game marches on. Papali'i sends the pass away now to Moses. Stand down. Panthers have barely had to defend their line at all in this game. Madison, Brown now. Slips a pass out the back. Marnie with it. Campbell Gillard. He thought about... They're doing the same, but he's submitting in the tackle within three metres of Penrith line. 
Marty, Dylan Brown, Mitchell Moses, and out to Cliff Gutherson. He gets knocked over in the tackle, and the ball is back with the Panthers. Oh, that was Salmon. That was Jamin Salmon that made that last-ditch effort there on Parramatta. He got him around the boot laces and needed to make the tackle. This man taking the hit up right now. Danny Kerr, some injury news down there. Yes, we've just heard from the Penrith bench that Isaac Tomal's HIA has been classified as a Category 2. So that does mean he's a chance of returning. We'll have to go through the 15-minute assessment. Fourth tackle kick by Cleary. Thanks, Danica. Well, what does that tell you, Andrew? Fourth tackle kick at 22-0. They're just going to back themselves to tackle their way to victory. Yeah. Kick early. Get down there. In the tackle, two, three, drag him back. Which means Parramatta Fords can't get back to play three or four. It's been their style of football over the last couple of seasons. They had a change after that 2020 result. They backed their defence to win these big matches. They're very patient footy, footy side. Happy to kick early, six to go for Parramatta. The numbers say the best defensive team in the comp. Concede 13 and a half points a game on average. Conceded 33 less tries in this year than Parramatta. So that was an obvious advantage that Penrith had. One of the few statistical advantages that they had coming into this. This uh, Pedersini slips it out the back. Moses away to Madison. He's trying to spark something here. And he can offload, and he does it there again. Ball goes to Papaliki, but all he can see is black jumpers in front of him. Yeah, and they just lack a bit of energy there when the ball popped out second phase play. And get moving forward, Paramount. That's nice. Brown sends it away to Simonson. Sebo. Sebo steps in field. He's going to get over. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. He had to put it down for a try. Yeah, um, yeah, so many Micah times we've first. seen Micah Sebo with space down that left hand. Touchline. He comes back off the left foot. We see him there step inside two defenders. Where there's Crichton, Stephen Crichton. What a play! A huge play. He was the man that scored the first try of the night, and he's there to save a try against his own side. Wonderful effort. Mike Sebo. He knows the opportunity missed there for his side. The opportunity to get back in this match with a four-pointer. Kick out. Striding out. Picks up 12 metres. He's stopped by Junior Polo, who's back on the ground. So is Fisher Harris. Is up the ground. Another huge game, Dylan Edwards. Luai to kick out for Salmon. And top off leads one. Slips it back to Luai. There's some pretty ragged Parramatta defence out there at the moment. The fuel tank is getting close to empty, perhaps. Clear is wrapped up by Brown. Luai. High but shallow, and what one of the black on a landed on his chest. And look, the Panthers' defence, they bunch up now and they race up. These are brave carries coming up for the Eels. Campbell Gillard off a nice ball there, he slipped it away to Marty. Marty's going to kick, how neat was that? And now Simonson, Simonson sprinting upfield. Edwards gets a cross! It's just got set the replica. Oh, it is. Look at the reaction. Have a look at the reaction of his teammates. 22 nil points up. The previous set, Stephen Crichton, a try saver, and then Dylan Edwards. Great play. Good kick there. Last man, one on one. And as that tackle. Oh, it sets Mark two. 
Does that put him in the Australian World Cup team going away at the end of the year in a couple of weeks? Look at that. Just all effort. Saves the day. What a player. Well, not only the tour at the end of this season, Joey, may get him a little reward at the end of this night as well. He's been huge for the Panthers, both with the ball and defence. What a great effort as a fullback there. Just positioned him beautifully, showed him the sideline. Classic legs tackle. Oh. I think he's done a rip coverage here. Bailey Simon's on the shoulder. He's in all sorts. You could split screen the Sattler tackle with that, and it, it looks it would be eerily similar. Even the way, different side of the ground, of course, but the way that he dragged him over the touchline there. And Ivan Cleary, who's been pre reserved right throughout this season, has put out some emotion in the reaction to that. Last two sets. Stop two. Absolute red hot chance. Coruscant. The Panthers can smell blood again here. Cleary, Edwards, Staines, Charlie Staines has scored! It's the try that probably wins the grand final and means the trophy stays in Penrith. Well, you just have to tip your cut to this football side. Wonderful set play out to the right-hand side. Charlie Staines, he picks up the four points on the Harvey Norman replay. Just watch this play. Isaiah Yo, it's the same old combination. Cleary to Edwards. Look at the hands from Dylan Edwards here. Only moments ago, he was saving a try. Just on the other side of halfway, this time he's delivering a beautiful pass to Charlie Staines, his winger on the outside. Just watch this. Catch in front. Mike Acevo coming out to put pressure on. He just pops a beautiful pass for Staines to burst onto. Desperate defence there from Dylan Edwards. Oh, what a put down. What a football yeah, He's a try scorer, isn't he? Charlie Staines got four on debut. Yeah. Forbes Ferrari. I imagine it's not too many... Ferrari's out at Forbes, but I'll have everyone at Forbes. Oh, what a reaction. This will show us perfect. Look, close enough into the line, far enough to commit, but not too far to sell a dump. What a team. When we talk about champion teams and champion clubs, you go back to Canberra and Brisbane of the, the 90s, the Roosters of the early 2000s, obviously the Melbourne Storm. But this team, it'll go down. He's up there with those teams. final to this extent on the scoreboard but in terms of the way the game has been played it has been all Penrith and in a strange way Cam, if you're a Parramatta fan you, this, the team hasn't done all that much wrong they haven't been given a chance no they haven't no they haven't and, and I'll tell you what one thing they've been extremely brave defensively I don't know how many times Penrith have been inside Parramatta's 20 metre zone playing the ball attacking their trial and they just turned them away but yeah, again, it's just been ruthless as we see the two coaches' boxes there. It's been a ruthless, relentless performance tonight from Penrith. You look at their last try, Tomo, and it just it's a reflection of not only tonight's game, this season, but the last three years. What they do so well is every player knows their role in this team. Every player knows their role in the system, and they get their role done. It's great to watch. Harris will Danica, some injury news. Uh, yes, unfortunate news for Parramatta's Bailey Simonson. He says that he heard a pop 
uh, when he went down and got tackled. So he's up in the sheds, but it's highly unlikely he'll be back on the field tonight. So a big blow for the Eels there and for the Penrith Panthers. Isaac Tungle is likely to return. We're hearing that he has passed his head injury assessment. Extremely high praise there from Andrew Johns. Bearing this Penrith outfit to the great Broncos teams and the great Canberra teams that, that he played against. I know the esteem in which you hold those those particular clubs through the 90s, Andrew, but this, this Penrith side... James going stepped to into do the path of Reed. Something that is rarely done Point. in this game, particularly under the salary cap era, but retain the trophy. It's, it was done 92-93 by Brisbane. The Roosters did it. And and now the Panthers. It's okay, Grant, three teams in 30 years. Penrith. They're disputing the decision that James um, didn't step into the path of Reed Marnie. Just looking at the movement of James Fisher Harris on Reed Marnie. James Fisher-Harris just stands his ground. The challenge is successful. Yeah, well, who, who got the ball? No, no, he play on so he didn't get the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen, you'll play the ball, tackle one. No, it's okay. See him play the ball, tackle one. Can't do it. <laughs> he was trying to hoodwink the rip there, Gutho. <laughs> Can we have it? There's the uh, Tosta tracker. Top five maximum speed. Dylan Edwards. 34.2 kilometres. See, I wish we had G forces whenever Moses Leota tackles or his tackle. Can we get the word on that with Telstra? Please. He just doesn't care, does he? He thinks he's an earthquake. Kick out. Bring him in now! Oh, Fisher Harris! Rampaging up the middle of the field, and Marty went reeling back out of that. 17 minutes to go still. Here's Nathan Cleary. Knocked it on, I think. Yeah. Knock on, Clint. You have knocked the ball One on. One thing we know, the rivalry yeah. is such between these two clubs that Penrith are going to try okay, and put yeah, their yeah, foot the on the Parramatta jugular here. In the uh, decision of knock on by Clint Gutherson. Yeah, Clint Gutherson challenging the call here. He feels as though there was a Penrith arm in this contest. I think it was Liam Martin. It was Liam Martin. The ball touches Clint Gutherson's left arm and travels in a forward direction. The challenge is unsuccessful. Okay, Tara, no more challenges. Penrith. Gee, it's an awe inspiring sight at this ground, that's cool. Amazing atmosphere. Anyone that was here when the teams were running on at the start of this game will never forget the experience. It was it was the loudest reception. I think certainly I've heard here. Peter Sterling said he's been to stadiums in various sport around the world, even Wembley in front of 100,000. And this topped that. So it's been a remarkable night. Nathan Cleary's All right, Grant, we have a captain's here. challenge from Penrith. They're disputing the decision that the ball was lost in a loose carry and picked up in an offside position. Isaiah Papalihi is just attempting to affect a tackle. There's no intention to strip. We have a knock on at this stage from Apicorosau. Offside. Isaac Tago is in front of the Penrith player. When he picks up the ball, he is offside. The challenge is unsuccessful. Very, um, 
the ball up this week. As the 2022 the season draws to a close, the NRL would like to thank all, all right, the fans that make rugby league on, the I'm greatest sure. game of all. From the joy of winning to the heartbreak of losing, it's all these experience <laughs> that make the NRL so unreal. It has been a fabulous season got the grand final that many people were longing for it's been however maybe one of the most dominant grand final displays from the team we have seen madison one-handed offload how did he manage to slip that away he was picked up by two players oh, Moses. cheek kick out done a job on mitchell moses two points has run straight at him every time he's had the ball. Oh, Lord, Madison. Cleary with a good read. And uh, Leota there too. And Martin part of the tackle. Moses throws it on the boot. And Blake's racing after it, and he taps it back in field. But Edwards is there again, and he's beaten the tacklers. Edwards, he's got Polo in front of him. Edwards trying to race away upfield. Well, that's an exclamation mark on his greatest ever season, Dylan Edwards. This has been a remarkable 2022 campaign from the Penrith fullback. He just runs and runs and runs. He must be related to Forrest Gump. <laughs> Cousins. That's his, that'd be his nickname, surely. Full time he's going to run home to Penrith. Yeah. Well, I know that there is a huge Third contingent of fans at Panthers, ah, see, 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 which is about 30 k's up the freeway. They will be there celebrating this and last year's grand final win long, long into the night and probably into tomorrow night as well. <laughs> Leota now. He's still charging as hard as he was in the opening minute and he's tackled within 15 of Parramatta's line. Here's Yo, there'll be no mercy shown. Seven metres out, Uppy out, waiting there in his final game as a Panther before he heads to the West Tigers. Nathan Cleary, Jerome Luai, Isaac Tungor. Stopped less than a metre out from the strike. Harris wrapped up by Madison. Here's Luai. Well, he's been his dazzling best with his footwork tonight. But he's bear hugged to the ground there by Will Penasini. Crichton's racing through. Ball hits the deck. It's off lane. And it's going to be a knock on against Parramatta. They've had nothing go their way at all tonight. Well, the kicking game has just been near perfect for Penrith. Accidental offside. They just landed straight on the spot. They get bored with their kicks. They just land this one on Dylan Brown. The back rows in the centres on the smaller half. They all compete for the ball. It's just such a well-balanced, well-coached team. They know their style. They know their strengths. They know each other's strengths, the combinations they played together all through their juniors. It's a special team. Cleary! He gets to the line. The ball might have come out. The teammates, teammates have come in around him. Right, I'm tackle one. Well, I have no choice. Did the, the ball hit the, ball the line, line before it spewed possession. out? He's looking for his 50th career try. Yeah, you'd think if he got that one, he'd be celebrating a little bit more than this this will show it beautifully on the replay oh he loses control Nathan Cleary grounds the ball short then loses possession of it we have a decision um, 
just on Cleary, no one has ever won back-to-back -back Clive Churchill medals. I'm wondering if it might happen tonight. You... Let's go, let's go in the middle, guys. Maybe not tonight. Do you see him as a lead no, contender? I, I think some others have been a little bit better. I mean, Dylan Edwards has, has been at Moses Leota. Mm. He's had a game. He's beginning. Brian he's Toto. To Lock him in, Dylan. We know Brian Toto's strength. He, he's, he's an extra front rower. Well, the wingers never won the Clive Churchill medal either. Gee, there'd be some old school front rowers up in arms if a winger gets the Clive Churchill medal. Liam Martin. He's going to sensation. James Harris as well. Look, there, there hasn't been a poor player at all for Penrith across the park. Um, Brian Tuttle, oh, you see their meters going to him. Dylan Edwards not far behind on 237. They've been the standouts as far as running the ball. I just think the work that Dylan Edwards has done, both defensively and with the football tonight, it's been a complete package. Well, if he walks away with the Clive Churchill, you find it hard to leave him at home when they... Kangaroo scored heads to the World Cup. Benassini has a chance there, and there still might be if you could slip the pass away there, Papali. He wanted the bloke was, was by himself. Look at the numbers there. All scrambling together. 28 nil up. 11 minutes to go, and it kick oh, out back out there. Kick, just in case. And, it, and it's those efforts too. Like you, you can look at the points where they've scored 28, but it's the zero right next to the heels there, at the bottom of the screen. That's the most impressive part of this match for mine. I read a comment from Jerome Lua this week, Jets, which might give us a little insight into the mentality around those effort areas. He said they were playing Newcastle earlier in the season. The game was parcelled up, but they were trying to keep Newcastle scoreless, and Luai maybe didn't go 100% at cleaning up a loose ball, and Nathan Cleary gave him an absolute bollocking. The game was won, but they, they wanted to try and keep the clean sheet, as it was Newcastle score to try. This is an origin, this is an origin player copping a spray from a teammate for not showing the required effort. Well, that's the standards. The standards are driven by the players. Can't be driven all the time by the coaches. Players are out there, they're, they're, they're out there in the game and smashing each other up. Just goes to show that they're hunting perfection. Moses fires it away to Blake. There's just no way through. This has been flawless for the Premiers. Campbell Gillard out the back, Gutherson over the top, taken here by Brown. Brown into the backfield, Dylan Brown steps, going to get all the way to a support. Six more. A chance for the Eels to break Penrith's line open. Can they jag one try? Maybe a couple before the game ends. Brown out to Moses, now to Gutherson. Down once again, Tungo with a tackle around the legs. Polo slips it to Moses, fires it to his halves partner. Harbour breaches it over the top, and Sivo trying to catch that with some momentum, but he dropped the ball. No, that's just pressure again. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay, guys. That's why. Penrith's defence has been called the black wall. There is just absolutely no way through. Scoreless in a grand final. Cam was Melbourne. I don't know why Middows gets you up there. 40 nil. 
It's, it's not 40 nil, put it that way. No. He didn't play. No. That's why it was 40 nil. Please. Put it 60. 60 nil. Well, Danica, it's been a, a very memorable night here, and anyone here will have this this evening uh, planted in their memory for many years to come. Yeah, it certainly has been an incredible atmosphere down here at ground level. We knew it was a sellout uh, last Tuesday, and we've just been given the official crowd number here tonight, 82,415 fans in total here at a core stadium this evening. taken by Moses. Everywhere Moses has looked, there's been a penalty jumper tonight. And he's got some tricks up his sleeve, Mitchell. He hasn't been out to use any of them. He rolls one in behind here now, and once again, the Panthers are scrapping for the ball, and Totlaw's got it back. He's already got two. Totlaw puts a step on. Totlaw! and Gutherson came together. That was a clash! <laughs> it was. Oh, that, number of that, that, that that looked here so today. extravagant. It was like it was a video Seven game. <laughs> you don't normally see. Have a look. Gutherson hits him and does a backflip. Watch this. He does it. What a tackle. Body on the line. But Gutherson. Who puts the cherry on top here? All eyes on Nathan Cleary. Mitch Kenny. Fisher Harris. Still running with great venom. 15 short. Ball goes to Yo. Yo with the left foot step. Coruscant up and offload. Kit uh, Cleary throws it on the boot here. It's all play on Parramatta have the ball back. Oh, no, it's a penalty. Yeah, the greater he, event is going to yeah, be the penalty. He dragged, he dragged one of the players away there, Nathan. We're into the last five minutes of the grand final. The trophy is going to stay with the Panthers. But uh, Jacob Arthur is going to be given a taste of what a grand final feels like at least. Cam, where, where you rank this performance from Penrith tonight amongst the great grand final performances you've seen? I mean, you've been you've been part of many, you've been instrumental in a lot of Melbourne's great efforts in grand finals, but this has been something right off the top shelf. Absolutely. When you when you think about dominant grand final performances for mine, the, the, the first one that comes to mind, and I was involved in this match, was the 2018 grand final, and it was the Roosters. They they just they felt unstoppable that night. And that's the way the Penrith Panthers have looked pretty much from five minutes into this match where it was sort of to and fro in those early exchanges. And from there, they just went to work. They fixed their hard running. He makes a bit of a dent here. There's a good off by Gutherson. Clint Gutherson, the skipper's going to get a try in the grand final. He's led from the front all year. And Gutherson means... Parra will walk away with some points here on a shattering night for their fans. And he's always there. Harvey Norman replay. Bit of Adley putting. This is the best footwork. Isaiah Papali goes through some tight defence. And then Gutherson, he is always there. A reward for so much effort. He is as tough as they come, Clint Gutherson. Try confirms. It's his 15th try for the year. He's their leading try scorer in the 2022 campaign. And it has been a stoic effort from the Eels to, to come back from a couple of really big losses this year. And they were flogged by the Bulldogs, who remember, 34 points to four uh, here at a core stadium. And many people thought their season was done.
damage that is. The great Greg Alexander, an icon of the Penrith club with Ivan Cleary. I suppose the question that will be asked now with Nathan leading this team to the second premiership is Nathan Penrith's greatest ever number seven in, at, at this early stage of his career. He ain't done yet. There's a, a lot of a lot of uh, finals and grand finals football left in Nathan Cleary. He's not even at his prime yet. I mean, tonight, with tonight's performance, he goes past Greg Alexander. Greg Alexander delivered the first one. That was unbelievable. And that my short kick by Moses. And they string some passing together here. And a kick now by Pettacini back on the inside. And chasing after oh. it. Jake Arthur scores a try. Well done, Jake. Oh, what a try for the young man. He just got on the field. He replaced Reed Marnie. He's come on to the, the pitch, and the game's well and truly gone. But what a, what a reward. Harvey Norman replay, a nice little play. Short kick by Moses. And the work by, well, Isaiah Puppley. He's tried extremely hard tonight. And they stringed it together a couple of plays. Will Pettacini puts it on the right foot. Jacob Arthur, well done. He's had to put up with a little bit, a fair bit of criticism this year, Joey. Yeah. Yeah, kick by Will Penasini. Rouse Hill Rhinos teammates growing up, played all their junior footy together. He's had a tough year. Got some flack on social media during the year, which is just disgusting. But what a great moment for Jake Arthur, scoring a try in a grand final. Here's Moses. He's successful. I just want to pick up on that, Andrew, because I put that question to you. You, you, you say Nathan Cleary should be regarded as Penrith's greatest ever halfback now. Consider, when you consider, too, that you look across that Eastern Grandstand at Bluebet Stadium and, and the four Hall of Fame names are there, and one of them is Greg Alexander. Well, he delivered their first premiership. We know what a player Greg Alexander was, but I think with tonight's performance, I think he goes past him, Nathan Cleary. Stay behind, guys! In the post show, the probably best person Stay to answer behind. that is, is Brad Fittler. He's great mates, or best mates with Greg Alexander. And also was there for a lot of his career. But I think with tonight, I think Nathan goes past Greg. Be nice if we can grab Greg. Yes, Brad. Well, if you look across the stadium, there's also another halfback, Craig Gower. Yeah. He's a fantastic player. He's all courage in exactly what this club is all about. The captain of Panthers in, in 2003. Yeah, I wasn't trying to undersell him, but I suppose with Brandy being here, he's the, the original hero of the club, along with Roy Simmons. The ball goes over the sideline. And the touch. Where do you want it? The Panthers are celebrating on the touchline. They have climbed the mountain again. Play the ball, guys. Ball moving to touch. There's the back-to-back -back premiers. The Panthers, they join the Roosters of 18 and 19. Broncos, 92-93. Raiders, 89-90. Bulldogs, 84-85. And the Eels of 81 all the way through to 83. There's some fantastic rugby league sides there. Celebrations have started on the sideline. These are the moments that the players play the game for. The adulation of winning a grand final compares with nothing else. This Penrith Panthers club is a juggernaut. As Coruscant picks it up from dummy half, the trophy is staying in Penrith. They have defended their title. It is one of the greatest premiership defences the game has ever seen. They have lost four games all year. And they have completely dominated in one of the great grand final performances. An emotional Ivan Cleary, who is normally poker-faced, will why wouldn't he shed a tear on a night like this?
this club has achieved what very few have. A very special group of footballers. A team filled with superstars and a team the backbone of which has all been developed in the Penrith area. That academy has, uh, has developed some extraordinary talent. And on the flip side of that, the sheer heartbreak being felt by all the Parramatta fans. The team has been so brave. We haven't seen coach and, and son, son and captain and coach embrace yet. So they'll come together, it'll be quite emotional. When you, when you think about this victory, Joey, you know, the most impressive thing is there they are. Yeah, that's a wonderful side, isn't it? Wonderful moment for father son. Yeah, good son. They would have been thinking about that ever since Nathan was a little boy running around the backyard. Jerome Luai, the halves partner, joining the celebration. But the most impressive thing for me, Joey, is that these guys, they've been able to defend their title. It's one thing getting to the top. It's another thing staying there. It's so hard when you're the hunted every week. Every other NRL club, they're coming for you. They're up for the challenge. They've sustained all teams that have come forth. There's Viliami kick out. He bows out of the Penrith club as a premiership winner, a dual premiership winner after 123 games. The grand final has been won by Penrith over their arch rivals Parramatta, 28 points to 12.